Hello and welcome to Goa 365's Face to Face. With us is a very, very prominent activist, women's activist, or activist rather than a woman's activist, an activist who fights for rights of women, fights for rights of victims who have been sexually abused, they have been harassed, or they are vegas. Ma'am, welcome to our show. It's been some time since you've come to our show, but welcome. And the relevance of today's interview with uh, uh, Orda is that uh, in the past few days, this issue, this uh, heinous crime on uh, South Goa beach has really, really uh, hit the media and the, the reaction of the politicos has created even worse taste in the mouth. So, ma'am, could you tell us, before we go to that specific instance, could you tell us over the t over a period of say one year, two years, whatever, depending on what we go, what is the situation for women, the, the assaults, the rapes in Goa? At least during the pandemic, there has been a high rise in crimes against women and children. Okay. A lot of them have been kidnapped. A lot of them have uh, been uh, raped. A lot of them have been other atrocities against women. And this has been going on for a long time, over the years also. As a violence mm -hmm. court activist, I have come across two very... Uh, very uh, sad cases. One was the Benauli, uh, sorry, one was the one at Betalbati where Ishwar Makwana has disappeared, and one was at the one at Palolem where that fellow had also gone missing a lot of times. In that case, the police were able to bring the accused back from various places. But Ishwar Makwana is not found up till date. This Ishwar Makwana, ma'am, just to interrupt this, Ishwar Makwana is a history sheeter, right? He is not only, he is a horrible person. There are okay. several cases of rape, murder, uh, cheating, theft against him in his own hometown. Okay. And such a man is at loose. So we don't okay. know where he is, we don't know what he is doing, we don't know whether he is provoking others to do the same thing that he has been doing over the, over his lifespan. Okay, ma'am, so continue, yeah, please continue. mandatory. Yeah. mandatory that he is be found or exact details of what they are saying he is dead should be produced before the in the public eye. It's essential. Okay. We have to know. Yeah. What if, Besides this, there are, you were saying, you, I, uh, before I interrupted, you were saying that there are a lot of these issues which we have been facing over the couple of past couple of years. However, this has got worse in the during the couple of years or oh, i don't know one and a half year of the pandemic is, is this what you were trying to say before i interrupt you ma'am that is that is what i'm trying to say and that's more because look at it from the reality of the situation people are stuck at home hmm. people are stuck at home and then abuse increases because they are interacting with each other now okay. being stuck at home they are interacting <laughs> with each other and Correct. therefore abuse has increased Okay, okay. This is what I am trying to say. But uh, when you say abuse, you are looking at domestic abuse, domestic I'm violence or you are looking at uh, assault, sexual assault, physical assault? Oh, all, all. I am looking at domestic violence, okay. which has increased a lot. I am okay. looking at assault, sexual and physical. Even okay. murders have taken place during this period. And kidnappings you were saying? Kidnappings? Kidnapping, mostly when a minor goes missing, okay. it is registered as missing, then it becomes kidnapped. Okay. And in, in, there are a lot of about 13 cases in about three months with us. Well, of kidnapping? Of kidnapping. Okay. Now, ma'am. And South Goa has already said that there are 19 cases okay. of children being kidnapped with the South Goa police. I'm not talking okay. about the whole of Goa. There are many in the north also. I don't have the exact number. But uh, what do you mean the minors are being kidnapped? It's like uh, there's some uh, issue of like say, uh, it's like a, a puppy love, school girl love, or is, is it some parent? What? Uh, could you give us some sometimes, more details? Sometimes it is predators who okay. are on the uh, online predators okay. on the Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Okay. And these guys, they are like, uh, you know, they entice the girls. Hmm. First, they 
send them friends message and after the friends message they start to get closer then they ask for photographs then they blackmail them then they call them to meet them and then they also disappear with the girls and commit crimes against the girls is this also could also this be a part of a large uh, trafficking human trafficking uh, has got any uh, uh, this in this this children you know could be because sometimes in some cases we have found that the numbers are passed on of the girls who are abused to other abusers okay. so friends requests come from a different number and okay. a different person and so there could be a larger trafficking net in this involved in this Uh, trafficking or basically an abuse net or because uh, from what of we have seen of course it is of yeah. course it is from of what we are, from what we are seeing is that from the national figures also there is a lot of these uh, child pornography uh, uh, cases and issues have uh, go, have gone up in this pandemic tremendously in 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 in, in exactly. india exactly. as far as we know exactly exactly the girls who are kidnapped also they are photographed mm. in various uh, situations which are mm. not proper Okay. and these are stocked in their cameras so, okay. so what i say is in their cameras or in their mobile or whatever device mm. that they use mm. what i'm saying is that when a case like this comes up it should be mandatory for the police to check on this mm. okay so now, that they are ex- Mm, okay now what i'm now this is this is we have gone a little beyond our brief we'll get back to this now but i as i'm talking about specifically on the rape issue the sexual assault issue and the uh, uh, the thing is now see i was very surprised because even in the in the in that uh, earlier case in both in south goa the cases that we are talking about now uh, that after the assault normally a person would be worried that he would get caught or the family would go after him or uh, something like that that would happen in in most con- parts of the country because these people who ha- who the assault was perpetrated on they are not labor class they are reasonable middle class low middle class but the audacity of this and the very very scary part of this is these people actually are calling the girls to try and extort money from them threaten them that means For, no i am a layman i also have a daughter so that means the scary part is that the, the these people are not scared of the police is this feeling what you are getting because the, our the rate yeah. they, they are catching the culprits the, the police are they catching are the not, culprits they are not scared of anybody they are that not scared not of the law they are not scared of the law be, be, the curfew enforce yes the curfew enforce yes those guys at the at the beach recent beach hmm. they were drinking there they were in a car there they were drinking there some of them are government employees how dare they do this i'm mm. very very angry with it i can't express my anger i can't express my pain i can't express what i'm going through with this particular rape and the uh, and the battle but you want these are like you know we care a damn you can catch us you can do anything we have money or we have political clout and we'll teach you a lesson it is like a threat so being threat like i'm they are not scared how dare they go on we say that drinking on the beach is banned it's banned in goa so how come they're drinking on the beach first question the other question is how dare they touch anybody who's moving freely on the beach it's my right this is my land i have the freedom to move anywhere i want in my land and i should not be threatened just because i'm a woman and neither should i stay at home because i'm a woman i have as much equal rights as a man who live in goa this is yes. my anger and my pain absolutely ma'am but today the situation is not this is the a situation which is an ideal situation probably if if you if you go to uh, parts many parts of the developed country we could talk like this but in goa the law enforcing authorities ha- have they actually given this type of assurance to the two girls to women on the roads have these cases which have come up even plain it starts see this thing starts with you know whistling or making fun of people on the road i know of college kids school kids sitting on their balconies and whistling at the people and the cops are laughing <laughs> they are boys so how why you think this will not happen and why how you safe is it you think it is for girls when the law enforcement authorities themselves are not questioning 
they are people for not taking action against these people because see your crime is like any other habit it's picked up and then it continues when no action is taken do you crime, am i right or crime, am i wrong you're right crime begins with tolerance and mm. acceptance mm. because you're a male you can do what you like mm. and yeah you're right when you say law enforcing agencies have to step in the moment a small incident like this happens so that only uh, deterrent punishment or deterrent steps can stop crimes against women so has mm. that happened in in goa especially let's talk about goa it's a highly educated de uh, developing state so progressive very aware, progressive they say <laughs> very, very progressive they say whether it yes. is or not this shows this in this kind of incidents you can see whether they are really progressive being progressive means protecting the rights of its women and children are they protecting the rights of the women and children this is a very important question do you feel the reaction of of the government side on the government side including from the police including from the dgp the dgp has still we have been asking the dgp to come and talk to us he still not come is the dgp has not given a message till date where is the dgp's message saying that no women are safe we will take action anybody is found on the road we will take it. has has he approached you all has he spoken to you all or he is letting all his sps and pis and all talk to you all ma'am uh Uh, I I'm now going to speak to him. I'm going no, no, to has he, no, 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 not you. Has not he yet. spoken? No, no, yet. Forget. Not it's been so many days. It is. It, it has been so many days now. This. It has been so many days about the Betal Bati. Then that Ponda girl was called by. Has he spoken to the people in general? And has he informed through the NGOs, through the media? Have you seen him? trying to assure everybody saying no everything is fine we will take action i am talking about the head of the police in go has he done it no 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 he is not done he has not spoken to you no. no nothing now let me go on to another another you know the assembly is just over there the, i am not getting into whether the chief minister's words were misinterpreted misconstrued he has a daughter also so he should not speak like that but does that not send a wrong message to the police that no 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 it is not our fault it is the fault of the girls it is the fault of the rapists it is the fault of the assaulters it is the fault of the goons but it's not the police fault police are, have like they are, do, are doing their job they are doing a very good job they are catching the people is this not the message that goes to the men in khaki as they say as far as i know the chief minister has ordered that extra patrolling be done and more police have been sent to kolwa police station this is okay. to the best of my knowledge there okay. are 30 more policemen sent there and mm. they are doing what they are supposed to do okay now about the chief minister statement i am not getting into it because he has spoken from a different angle he has Absolutely. not spoken legally he okay. has spoken morally that's a different thing i don't wish to comment on that mm. and if you agree with me don't you think that during a curfew time there are special laws rules sops in place which need to be followed mm. then we need to educate our parents about this parents have need to educate their children about this mm. and parents are older so they mm. need to tell their children what's right and wrong mm. i think in that context i would say chief minister has not said anything comparing the rape with the uh, children being on the beach i disagree with all those who are even calling me a protector of rapists mm. <laughs> because really? i too said in one of my bike yeah. in one of my bike i spoke about condemn the rape i spoke about extensively about the rape that it mm. is wrong that mm. i condemn it and that i am the complainant in that case mm. i am the complainant in several cases in goa mm. and i know that as a complainant what all you have to go through those who are making statements and politicizing sensationalizing this issue are diverting the issue the main thing the children my children have to get justice absolutely the girls who are abused have to get justice it's no fault of them absolutely it's no fault of their parents so we are not saying that it's a fault of the parents we are talking i've been a juvenile justice board member mm. okay i'm also thinking of the problem from the uh, parent side parents mm. or parents 
you you as a parent i as a parent or the other parents of the state have a duty to educate the children on the rules and laws of the land in the present context correct that is separate from what is done to my children i absolutely condemn what those abusers have done to the children i absolutely condemn it and i am very strong and all the sections in my complaint i have mentioned every section there are sometimes there is a need i want to share this with you and with the public the children accept ex express a need please don't tell this please don't tell this so when they say don't tell this though the section is applied i will not mention the section this is my duty of confidentiality and the privacy and the innocence and the ignorance of my children who have been abused i consider them my children god children are my children and i have been fighting for them for almost 20 30 years So I'm yes, not going to compromise that. on any situation. So those who are criticizing, let them enlighten themselves. Come and talk to me before you pass comment. Where have I protected the rapist? You show, prove it, bring it out. Don't just pass comments and try to discourage people who work 24 by 7 for a cause. But that happens and a lot I, in Goa. I feel. I feel that happens I, a lot in Goa. I, we, I, I've seen this very often. Yes. I I call this rocking chair comments. <laughs> Because you are sitting in your rocking chair, and then you are making comments. You don't know that three days for this case, I have not eaten, I have not slept. I am not talking because I want to promote myself, but I have not slept, and I have spent nights awake with them. And every day of these days, the children are being psychosocially counselled at the one-stop centre, South Goa. Yes, absolutely. See, you need to be commended, and we need more people like you, or the, we need people like you because ultimately. the health of a society this is what i firmly believe in the health of a society depends on the health of the of women of children if the health like what we see not only in goa in goa i feel probably it's a little better in in parts especially in the cow belt in the northern states the, the plight of women and children is very very bad i i know i've seen with my own eyes so the the we are trying to be a so many trillion economy we are trying to be a very very uh, uh, super power next super power very rich very this and we have succeeded in many ways india is powerful in many ways militarily financially it's got so many billion has got but strongly we strongly believe this is my opinion personal opinion that the health of any state the health of any country is the health of women is the health of girls the girl child and children what do you do you have anything to say on this specific answer because what does progressive mean progressive means roam around freely forget about nights nights that is another issue late curfew not following the rules all that that's separate yes. i agree but i'm talking about in general in general on a daily basis a girl walking on the road or the attitude are the mothers not talking to the sons that are baba We, we, I am a woman. Your sister is a woman. Your wife is a woman. Why are you doing this? Uh, what is the scene? What is happening in Goa? I feel somewhere the awareness of the rights of women, awareness about the woman being a mother, the woman being a daughter, the woman being a sister, the woman being somebody related to the man. In fact, a very important component of the society, we are the ones who br bring men into the world. And is this education going down? I have spent my entire life in trying to create awareness on one side, and I don't know why it doesn't go into the heads of men or even of mothers that they have to groom their sons to respect women, to respect the body of women. That you can't abuse the body of a woman. I've been trying to do this, and I all 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 uh, women's organization. The first attempt is to create awareness. Even this morning, I have conducted a webinar for a school. There too, I have talked to the parents and told them, "This is the situation. This is how you have to do." Not referring to any case, but what, how to bring up boys, how to bring up girls, because the Pokso Act applies to boys and girls. You know that. Yes, yes. So abuse of children on the beach is a heinous crime. It's a horrifying, horrifying crime to wipe the tears of that girl child. to wipe the tears of that boy child it needs uh, draconian strength because your heart just breaks you don't know what to do 
Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, yes. Now, my point is now. See, I agree. I agree that the our cops are doing a reasonably good job. It has improved uh, even conviction rates after the post. Yes. It has increased. Yes, I totally agree. But I still feel that policing is not only punishment. It is creating awareness. It is creating a, a deterrence. More importantly, more more importantly, it is. regaining that credibility of the man in khaki which i do not see why because even even if you talk about the masks in the enforcement of masks you're talking about or awareness on on covid regulations or curfew or um, uh, uh, taking off cases the uh, the man in the are hey yaar why you're doing this what you're doing this you this give little bit pay. so that credibility see one person you do it to one person he may not have the guts to talk to the policeman on his face but he will talk to another 100 people so the credibility goes so don't you feel that one of the important things of ngos is to inform the people including the politicians and the people who are in touch to most important things to in, improve and in, the credibility and the professionalism of the police force don't you think is just I, not uh, catching uh, thieves is is important I, they are doing that quickly I, I agree with you. After the crime is committed, to catch the guy is a different issue. Absolutely, I think, yes. I think in small things that are going to affect the lives of women and children, are uh, and small children. And by children, I mean both, both boy children and girl children. So I think the police, for small things when they are reported, they should take them seriously, and the deterrence starts from there. Once they start taking small matters seriously, the, this is the beginning of the crime, bigger crime. The beginning of the bigger crime has to be stopped. Then only the respect and the due value, the equality, the justice that is due to women will come into force. And I think the police need to pull up their socks now. They don't have to act like parts of the society. Yeah, mindset of the society is one thing, and mindset of the police. should be this is the law i'm going to enforce the law i'm a law enforcer i have to see that law and order is maintained they shouldn't take any complaint of a woman like but that is I happening think. is is that not happening on on across police stations in in the country in the state i i agree with you there's a kind of a lax attitude sometimes and the probing that is required is not done maybe behind that small incident there's a larger crime Police need to pull up their socks and look into every angle of that incident, every angle, and then only there will be some justice. There will be deterrent, and crimes will decrease. They are already they are doing their bit, but they should be even more strong now. They should come down. There is no excuse for anybody. Whoever you are, you may be an influential person, you may be a politician, you may be anybody. You may Absolutely. be the prime minister. Absolutely. I agree with you. So, but I think that what is lacking is that connect with the people. Now, uh, th there are beat cops in most areas. You are aware, even on the beaches and all that. Now, I have been living in this present place where I live for more than ten years. Okay, and I, I think uh, people know me, <laughs> right? But till date. there has been no beat cop who has come and met me in my area to ask me they are, see according to what that time what kashyap was there when they set up the this sp priyanka they set up the beat cop they were supposed to meet people in the various colonies the various this spare parents and, and talk to them and get an idea but now i'm more than 10 years i huh? forget about how many more than 10 years i've been living in in the same place and i've been a journalist all that time people know nobody has come and met me so where is this beat cop where is this uh, community policing that the that the cops are talking about is it there i don't know only when he and police work together no but is it there can... first part is it there is it actually happening or no because at least in my personal experience it's not happening uh, i'm being I very have... straight and open there whenever i have complained then no no the complain no 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 i'm not talking about complain so this is so not I complain they have not this... come Me. The big cops don't come and talk to me either. Exactly. This is not complaint. Complaint is later. Once the crime is done, what is the point? Now you shoot somebody, you are going to get that person back. Or oh, somebody is raped, somebody is assaulted. Is that anything going to happen? I am talking about before. Before That's the beat cops are supposed to go, supposed to suppose if there was a beat cop whose job is to roam around in that um, area in South Goa, that part of South Goa. 
he would have known people that are staying on the beaches because according to our reports every day people are sitting on the beach late night in in panjim in taligaon in kalangu they are there regularly but if a beat <laughs> cop is there yeah if a beat cop is there he supposed to know that is not happening and they are not I talking would, to people are they what i would say is there has to be an audit hmm. of the beat cops whether hmm. they have been doing their work properly and hmm. this only the top boss of the police can do correct because they should be given credit only if they are doing their work hmm. they have to report let's say there's a trafficking going on somewhere there hmm. are women brought and kept in a flat hmm. how much how much has the beat cop reported it Nothing. so this all has to be pulled up i'm saying police need to pull up their socks now absolutely it's too before late. things before too it late. gets worse yeah yes any last words you would like a message across to parents to the authorities to i would like to say to the parents also that parents have a special responsibility cast upon them as parents hmm. that is to groom their children to meet any eventuality hmm. to groom them to be responsible citizens to groom them to look after themselves so that whatever decision should they take should not be a risky decision to their life that they have to keep up responsibility for their actions correct absolutely for their life that's very important and that has nothing to do with the rape incident i'm saying it 10 times it's mm. nothing to do i'm not talking about this with reference to the rape incident the rape incident is a heinous crime it has to be condemned and it has to be punished it has to get punishment absolutely 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 yeah, yeah. and i absolutely. think that parents also and society as a whole needs to work along with the police police have to con- contact community and be aware of what is What's going happening? on in a particular area so that they can step in and stop crime absolutely yes prevent better than cure this is something that from uh, thanks thanks ma'am for what uh, from this discussion with uh, um, uh, uh, my good friend order is that we have realized that You, there is no one side the police cannot think that no they are doing their job because they are catching catching the prisoners and putting them in jail and the community cannot abuse and curse the police and curse the politician ultimately all arms of society have to work together the people the activists who are more who are active in the line the community the people the authorities especially the line departments like the police and um, the uh, tra- transport and the they have to work together only then can goa and our society reach somewhere and we, when we we will not have to open the newspaper or put the tv on and listen to and watch these type of heinous crimes Uh, thanks uh, ma'am uh, thank you uh, ma'am uh, very much uh, for coming on our show thank you and keep up your good work we are there with you thanks and keep watching goa 365